Hey VC, I'm back again. Sorry to keep you waiting. Not as long of a gap between my last video and this one, but still longer than I would kind of like or, or that I was, uh, I kind of had a good pace going there for a while. But, uh, you know, like I've said before, my buying has definitely slowed down. I'm on a tighter budget. And uh, being in a smaller town, there's kind of less to uh, to find out there. You know, there's definitely less record stores and um, I'm kind of, it, it kind of works out anyway because um, because I have a tighter budget, it means I'm a little more thrifty and a little more uh, picky about what I do pick up. Um, but I do have a new release here uh, that I had ordered or pre-ordered a couple months ago and it finally got released after like a slight delay. Uh, but this is a 2018 release from uh, this artist um, from Korea called Midair Thief. Uh, the album is called Crumbling. Uh, like I said, it came out in 2018. Um, I think this was, if not the highest rated on Rate Your Music, um, one of the highest rated of, of last year. And I had never heard it until um, this year because I actually follow this label pretty closely. That's Top Shelf Records. They put out a lot of uh, my favorite release, releases of this decade. Um, lots of, you know, the they were kind of big in the whole Midwest emo revival thing. Um, but they've kind of branched out. They have a lot of uh, Eastern bands on their roster now. A lot of J Japanese, like math rock, uh, Korean stuff, that kind of thing. And that includes this. Not much is known about the artist, Midair Thief, but um, I think they're pretty sure it's a, it's a guy and he um, just likes to make music and he doesn't really want to um, have have the celebrity aspect to it. I don't think um, he's ever shown his face or anything. Um, but the music on this, this is, um, I guess the closest thing I could compare it to would be something like if you mixed Animal Collective with um, a little more folk or that kind of freak folk, um, neo-psychedelic, um, sort of vibe, mix that with some like electronic stuff. Um, you know, I, I would compare it to like Person Pitch by Panda Bear, speaking of Animal Collective, um, just that kind of thing, just sort of out there, uh, really unique music. Um, and the pressing, it had gotten pressed uh, in Korea and that, you know, pretty much sold out instantly and um, it's impossible to get. Uh, here's what color it's on, uh, Top Shelf Records. Um, put it out in the US. Uh, I think there's still copies available. If this is your kind of thing, go check out Top Shelf Records. Um, but you know, you for this kind of thing, it's it's very nice that they put this out so you can pay, you know, $18 for it as opposed to, um, you know, a couple hundred for a Korean pressing. Um, so yeah, uh, for fans of Animal Collective, um, sort of outsider weirdo music, definitely check that out. And uh, the rest of this stuff um, was all thrifted or uh, actually there was a, a Friends of the Library sale here in Waco, um, which I got a couple things from. Um, I'll start with the CDs actually. So they had um, not a lot of CDs, uh, about a table's worth and not a lot of great stuff. You know, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, gospel, Christmas compilations, um, uh, that sort of thing, 90s country, not really my scene, but I did find some interesting stuff. Um, I got these four uh, Dead Can Dance CDs. I don't know a whole lot about Dead Can Dance other than um, that they're on 4AD Records, which is a really great label, and um, it's sort of dark, gothic, um, Maybe like industrial, is that right? Someone, if if you're a Dead Can Dance fan, definitely let me know. I will be checking these out as part of my uh, new albums project. Uh, I got a classic uh, Foo Fighters, what's this one called again? The Color and the Shape. This one, you know, it has My Hero and Everlong. Um, lots of great stuff on there. I found this Radiohead, uh, the Best Of compilation. Um, so... I always see this in record stores or places like that. Um, just because I'm a Radiohead completist, I've always wanted it. But I don't want to pay, like, they always ask, like, $10 for this. And, you know, I have all these other songs on their um, studio albums. 
so I don't I didn't really see the point paying ten dollars but I'll, I'll buy it for a dollar it's a nice shape uh, it's one of those things where they had just um, fulfilled their contract with EMI and so then the label um, you know took a bunch of their hits and cobbled together a little compilation um, so it's not the greatest compilation but it's uh, it's pretty serviceable I guess this was kind of an interesting one, uh, arguably the most interesting out of all of them here. Um, this is Harry Styles, um, self-titled, uh, sorry, self-titled, um, release. I think it's his debut, uh, from any rate, it's from 2017, and, um, this was sealed. I actually opened it up because I was curious, uh, sealed, brand new, it had never been played, um, it had a, a bunch of price stickers all over it. Like, I think it was from uh, Rite Aid, um, which I don't think there's even any of those around here. But really interesting find. Um, you don't really see, like, new sealed stuff at sales like that, so I definitely picked that up out of curiosity. Um, and then this one is also not new, but it's it looks, like, untouched. Um, this is Vampire Weekend's debut album. What year is this from? 2008. Um... I'm not the biggest Vampire Weekend fan. I didn't love their newest album. Uh, I do like this one, though, and their second one a lot. Um, it has the slipcover. Uh, pretty standard uh, jewel case otherwise, but that was cool for a dollar. Uh, I got $1.45. Um, I already had this one, but not on this uh, label. So this is the Beach Boys Don't Worry Baby with I Get Around. Sort of a classic... Uh, classic single there. Um, I had this one on an orange capital label. I want to say it's like a late 70s pressing. So cool to have this um, original pressing. And the last thing from the sale, uh, music related anyway, was this um, condition upgrade for me. This is free fire and water. Um, same kind of deal. I think the one I had was a uh, later repress on the um, you know, that kind of gray A&M label. Um, so this was a dollar. It's in okay condition. The cover is not amazing. No splits or anything, but just like some heavier wear. Um, believe it or not, this is actually a condition upgrade for me as well. So not only is it an earlier pressing, but it's in better condition. Um, and I'm looking for more free uh, records if... Um, if I see any more, I'll be picking them up, especially for a dollar. All right, so um, that's it for the Friends of the Library sale. I also got um, a couple DVDs, but I think I'll, I'll talk about those at the end. I won't show them, but I'll, I have a question for you guys. I'll get to you in a minute um, if I can remember. Um, so the rest of these, uh, this stack of singles here, um, this is all the rest that I got for this month. I found these um, this Wednesday, this past Wednesday at the uh, Salvation Army. Um, so on Wednesdays, they do 50% uh, off in all the whole store. Um, that's the Salvation Army where I found some cool stuff. Not the Baby Huey, but uh, I found like some blue notes there. The, those Jimmy Smith um, things. I also, I, like right when I first moved here, I found a Tom Waits record, which I had sold. Um, that was pretty cool. These uh, Most of these are staying in my collection, uh, but there are a few that I think I already have or have duplicates of so I'll be checking condition and uh, passing on the um, the one that's in worse condition but this is probably the coolest out of the whole stack um, by a little group called the music machine this is their single double yellow line with uh, the b-side absolutely positively um, so these tracks appear on the um, their second album the uh, the Bonnewell music machine you know has like a like a picture of a a music machine on the front. Um, so that is definitely the coolest find. It's on this original sound label, which looks pretty generic, but um, still pretty cool. Not in spectacular condition. I don't know if you can see that well. There's like some scuffs, but nothing crazy. All of these were really dusty, but they cleaned up very well. I was very impressed. Um, my spin clean uh, did a lot of heavy lifting on the cleaning. Um, I had to change out the water like four times just cleaning the stack of records because the water got pretty pitch black instantly off of some of these. Um, moving on, a uh, little bit of damage on the label there, uh, not a big deal. I'll upgrade condition eventually. This is the Easy Beats Friday on my mind. The B-side is Man by Bed, gonna lie in it. Uh, the Easy Beats are a classic uh, Australian group, sort of in that um, 60s 
mod rock sound garage. Uh, this one is also cool. It's the illusion with, did you see her eyes? The B side is falling in love. Um, so kind of interesting label on this one. I don't really see this one ever. Uh, it's Steed. Pretty cool. Next up, another classic track from uh, Steppenwolf. This is Magic Carpet Ride. Uh, the B-side is Suki Suki. Um, not the greatest um, psychedelic track ever, but it, it's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely one of their more psychedelic tracks. Um, and of course, Steppenwolf, they have that hard rock aspect. This one was uh, a blind purchase for me. It's by the Back Porch Majority. This one is called Second Hand Man, and the B-side is That's the Way It's Gonna Be. Um, I actually ended up liking the B-side a lot better, and that actually works out because uh, I didn't check the condition well enough, apparently, on this one. This one has some kind of strange, uh, horrible scratch there that I haven't even attempted to play that. That looks like it'll definitely uh, do some needle damage. Uh, but I checked it out on YouTube. Um, the the A-side is just okay. I thought the B-side was really cool, the track That's the Way It's Gonna Be. Um, so check that one out. Uh, I found a cool canned heat. This one is Let's Work Together, the B-side, I'm Her Man. Um, I think these are both album tracks. Some good blues rock there. Funk Number 49 by the James Gang, um, also with the song Thanks. Um, I have the album that this is from, but it's so cool I have the single. I found three uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Um, the first one, Teach Your Children. The B-side on here is Carry On. We've got Ohio and Find the Cost of Freedom. The last one here is Woodstock and Helpless. Always nice to see them. I got a bunch on the Apple label. Um, I think I'll be keeping this one, John Lennon, Power to the People. Uh, the B-side is a Yoko track, Touch Me. We've also got another John Lennon here, Mind Games and Meat City. And uh, I don't know if I've talked about the Apple label. Um, not all of their uh, releases on Apple were hits or um, winners, but you can't, that's just such a great label design. It's always cool to see um, different A and B side labels. And Apple is so simple and very effective. Um, another George Harrison, or rather, a George Harrison, I haven't shown any yet. Uh, give me a love, give me a peace on earth. Uh, the B side is Miss Odell. And I've got two copies here of Helen Wheels, Paul McCartney and Wings, and uh, Country Dreamers on the B side. More uh, pop and rock here. I've got Benny and the Jets by Elton John. Uh, Harmony is on the B side. The Hollies, Stop, 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 and It's You. Not one, but two copies of Free, uh, speaking of Free, uh, All Right Now and Mouthful of Grass. This one obviously has a little bit of label damage, um, but I think the vinyl is actually nicer on this one than this one. So I don't know which one of those two I'm going to be keeping. I'll be doing a shootout later. Uh, we've got The Doors, Rider on the Storm, and Changeling. This one actually has a slight warp. I'll be uh, A couple of these are warped. I'll point them out. Um, nothing that I can't fix, I don't think. Uh, this is a Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. I've never uh, found any of their stuff in the wild. Um, this is How Do You Catch a Girl and The Love You Left Behind. A James Taylor, uh, this one's kind of warped long ago and far away. And Let Me Ride on the green Warner Brothers label. Another copy of American Woman by the Guess Who. Um, no Sugar Tonight is on the B-side. I believe this is a condition upgrade for me. Another condition upgrade, or I'm pretty sure is one, uh, Mrs. Robinson, Simon and Garfunkel, with old friends slash bookends on the B-side. Rolling Stones, Neighbors, and Hang Fire. We've got Climax here with the song Precious and Few, and Park Preserve. This is another one that I checked out. Um, the B-side, again, is cooler than... Um, the A-side Precious and Few is more of like a ballad, and Park Reserve has some more, uh, like a, a, a ripping lead guitar. Pretty cool. Condition upgrade for these boots are made for walking. Nancy Sinatra, 
uh, the city never sleeps at night is on the B side. Spill the wine, Eric Burden and War with Magic Mountain. Condition, sorry, condition upgrade, Bad Moon Rising with Lodi or Lodi, uh, CCR. And Mountain with Mississippi Queen and The Laird. Never seen that one on 45 before. And then I've got a, a little group of soul slash funk slash R&B, whatever you want to call it, 45s. Um, definitely some keepers in here, like this Marvin Gaye, Your Unchanging Love. The B-side is I'll Take Care of You. I was really hoping to find more Marvin Gaye after seeing that, but I didn't find any. Um, we've got Mabel John, Your Good Thing is about to end, and it's catching. Really cool blue stacks label. However, it does have a little bit of a warp. I'll pull it out of here so you can kind of see it. A um, little bit of a bowl warp. I think that's fixable. I'm a little more confident about warps now that I have uh, fixed one before with success. A condition upgrade for Lean On Me with Bill Withers. The B-side's better off dead. Got one I've never heard before. Uh, O.B. McClinton, You Don't Love Me. And Six Pack of Troubles on the B-side. It's on this Enterprise label. And I didn't know what it was, but it has a uh, copyright 1972 Stax records on the uh, copyright line there. So that will be cool. For sure. Never heard a bad uh, Stax track. We've got two by the Marvelettes on Tamla. Destination Anywhere. And What's Easy for Two is Hard for One. And a different Tamla label. Um, anything you want to do. And Don't Mess with Bill. Um... That one's actually produced by Smokey Robinson. I've got two Jimmy McGriff on the uh, Sue Records label. Um, this one's more jazz. It's Kiko. The B side is uh, Jumping at the Wood side. That's the Count Basie song. And then we've got um, All About, what's it called? All About My Girl. The label's kind of, um, they didn't do a great job on label design there. It's kind of cut off or maybe just off center and uh, MG Blues. So I got excited when I saw the Sue Records label because I found a cool um, Ike and Tina Turner, uh, Ike and Tina Turner uh, 45 couple months ago. And um, that one's not as cool, but um, still interesting. I actually really like this track. I wouldn't call it a guilty pleasure, but I don't know how popular it is in the VC. It's the Pointer Sisters, I'm So Excited, and uh, Dance Electric. This is, you know, later Pointer Sisters, um, but that's just such a good song. Definitely worth keeping. And I don't think this one is as nice as the copy I have. I will be double checking, but the track Thank You For Letting Me Be Myself by Sly and the Family Stone. And again, I love this B-side, um, Everybody's a Star. That's just a great single. Um, and it looks like it sold pretty well for them because I think that's the most common Sly and the Family Stone record I see. And to kind of finish it off, I've got a little bit of country. Um, I would like to find LPs by these artists. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd like to find LPs by these artists, but I uh, just haven't had any luck. First up is David Allen Coe, uh, Play Me a Sad Song, and Just Had to Prove My Love for You. These both come from the album Tattoo, uh, which I would love to find. Never see it. Never see any David Allen Coe. And a bunch of Tammy Wynette here. I don't know which ones are the A and B sides. I have a couple of guesses, obviously, such as uh, Stand By Your Man with I Stayed Long Enough, He Loves Me All The Way, and Our Last Night Together, The Ways to Love a Man, Still Around, and the last one is Fun, and We Sure Can Love Each Other. So lots of cool 45s, again, um, pretty large stack. At the Salvation Army, when they do the 50% off, um, they end up being six for a dollar because the price they normally charge is uh, 50 cents each or three for a dollar. That's for LPs and um, 45s. And so when it's 50% off, it ends up being uh, six for a dollar, which is cool. Um, I hadn't been in there in like uh, two weeks or so. And um, they always have the same old LPs. They never even toss them. Um, I wish they would kind of just throw them away at this point because I don't think anyone's going to buy them and uh, some of them are so beat up. Um, but, you know, just a lot of uh, gospel and uh, easy listening and, and classical, that kind of stuff. Um, but when I went in there and I saw those, they also had a uh, 
you know, like a plastic basket and I had all those 45s in. Um, there were still more 45s. I probably got like, um, I don't know, 10% of them. Um, so there was a lot more in there. Um, I did a quick look through what they had. I picked out what I thought were the good ones. Um, I may be going back this next Wednesday. I don't expect them all to still be there, but um, I'm gonna be double checking and making sure I didn't leave anything cool behind. Um, so yeah, and like I had said about the movies, I picked up a couple movies at the uh, Friends of the Library sale and I've also been you know, thrifting some. Um, and I've seen a couple of people show some Criterion Collection uh, stuff, a couple of uh, VC channels specifically. So what I'm considering doing is, um, because I've been collecting a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays, um, maybe start showing those as well. I don't think I'll be showing them in the same video as Record Finds, but um, yeah, probably uh, every now and then, maybe the same frequency once a month or so, uh, be showing the movies that I get. I think I'll probably have one of those before the month is out. So, um, if you don't know already, Barnes & Noble every November does a uh, sale on Criterion Collection Blu-rays and DVDs, 50% uh, 50, 50 off uh, all in-stock items. So, um, you know, they're normally like $40. So uh, 20 bucks for some really high quality Blu-rays is always a good deal. I already picked up a couple uh, from some records that I had sold this month, um, the cash from those anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing those, some thrift store finds, friends of the library sale finds. Um, there's also a video game store in town that I uh, traded some DVDs in and got some uh, some other good stuff. So I'll be showing all those. Um, let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, if there's a lot of uh, negative feedback to that, I don't think I'll be um, doing that. But uh, if that's something you'd like to see, definitely let me know. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.